Okay, so here we have a couple of uh, Blackmagic cameras. These are Ursa broadcasts. And you might notice on the return viewfinder, we have the multi-view output. And you can see both cameras have got a return viewfinder coming back through uh, fiber, all the usual uh, Blackmagic stuff. I'll just take this off um, return. And there's just, um, I've got the lights off at the moment because I haven't paid my electricity bill. And here is um, the second camera. I'll just switch this off back to camera viewfinder, so you can see you can just go to, you can just search and look for your uh, return video coming back from the ATM, and you see I'm sending back not the ATM output. I'm sending back the multi view. Now, as you all know, a multi view output from an ATM doesn't carry the CCU data, but we're sending back CCU data. There's the multi-view back up there again. We're sending back the CCU data. And how are we doing that? We're doing that using this new little box. It hasn't got any clothes on yet because I haven't designed the box for it. But there it is there. It's, um, it takes ATM CCU data out on the Ethernet, which is up in here. And it then inserts it using the Arduino shield that Blackmagic make and it inserts it into the incoming video that's coming in back from the ATEM. So coming into the um, coming into the um, input of the, the box is just the um, multi-view output and then it's then going back in to all the camera's returns. So up here for instance I've got a um, Blackmagic Micro Studio camera um, over the other side there in the, all the darkness there are um, uh, broadcast camera, broadcast studio cameras, uh, Ursas, another Micro Studio camera they're all up over there and we have full CCU control as you would normally have if you're using the program output but here we're not using the program output we're using the multi-view output but you can use any source at all, so long as it's the same um, frame rate and f dimension because the Arduino shield here for the Blackmagic, uh, it automatically locks to that source and if it's the wrong source you're going to have all sorts of trouble. So, so here I'm just running in 1080-50i and um, it's adding all the CCU data. And when I say all the CCU data I mean I mean everything. So anything that you normally would control from here, you're still going to get full control. Um, here, for instance, um, I can just do, I'm just going to select, that's camera 5 on here, so I'm just going to pull the iris down. You can see the iris is going down. I can lift the blacks up and down. And um, so you've got all the control. I can do things like uh, color bars. Um, you can do... Um, um, the pan and tilt, so if I just do the, you see here's me doing the pan and tilt using my pan and tilts, my pan and tilt controller here, so all that data is all uh, coming through um, coming through the um, CCU data that's being injected into the return feed, and as I say the return feed is a non-ATEM CCU embedded feed. So I'm doing all the embedding, and this is just a, some examples of usage. Here, I have um, here's an example where you may have an ATM 4K uh, switcher, and as you know, um, you can send that ATM 4K output back to a 4K camera. It works fine, but if at the other end you want to add some accessories to be able to read the data that's coming out of the uh, CCU uh, embedded data, like a a pan and tilt head or um, in my in some of my cases I have lens controllers where I can do remote zoom and focus they all require they all require the Blackmagic Arduino shield and that doesn't work at 4k so this takes the program down converted out because we know that'll work with the with the Arduino shield and then we feed that into this new box the ATEM to CCU control and then using the Ethernet plugged in from the ATEM into the box, it then reinserts the CCU data and then you'll get all your normal camera control stuff plus you get all the added stuff that you're including, including your pan and tilts and your 
um, uh, servo zooms and servo focuses and stuff like that. Um, another example is what I'm showing, doing here now is if you've got a multi-view. I mean, I used this the other day and I had to feed off-air um, back to the cameras because they were, they were integrating a... Um, it, was, it wasn't actually off-air, it was a return um, internet feed and um, they had to frame their cameras up to cameras in other in other cities uh, it was a um, it was a conference and again we just take whatever feed you want into the into the box it adds the ccu data to it and off you go now what may uh, what may be even more exciting shortly this this same concept is going to be included with this and put it down there and I'm not going to say anything more about it than just give you a little teaser. And I want you to guess what this is going to do. This is going to be extremely exciting for you. But more about that later on. So as soon as I finish the um, um, the pants for this um, for this little fellow, they, these will be available to um, to use in your existing systems. There you go. A nice short video for you.